We continue in Romans 8 today. In verse 31, Paul says this, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? You can imagine a litany of things in this world which might be set against you. And if you are in Christ Jesus, the Son of the Most High, you can imagine who could stand against you. And the answer is and must be nobody, nothing, no one can stand against God. Because God is for you. Christ is vindicated by his resurrection. He is your Savior. He is God in the flesh. If God is for you, who could possibly stand against him? Satan? Pfft, no. Other gods? There are none. They're noxious winds and demons in disguise. God is for you. God is for you in Christ. You have been reconciled to him. You're listening to Orazio, part of your morning drive for the soul, here on Worldwide KFUO. Christ for you, anytime, anywhere.